Hello friends and uh, welcome to another video on uh, stack functioning. So I got a program over here which will I'll try to explain stack with an example example program. So let's tra let's start. Uh, sorry, we got nothing in our data section. BSS section is blank. Uh, here comes to text section. We got a start point. No operation for a for an ideal cycle of CPU. So now this complete program is about pushing and extracting values from stack. Okay. So the first instruction is you push numerical value two to stack. Then next comes push numerical value 3 to stack then for just filling up our ebp register because otherwise ebp is not is not used previously in the program so it doesn't contain any values no data inside ebp as of now so i'm just ref uh, sending numerical value 3692 ebp just some junk data okay so after pushing 2 and 3 to stack I'm going to call a function add. This function will simply add these two numerical values. And uh, let's this I'm going to explain a bit later. So let's define a function, a function type called add, label add. Okay. So I'll explain these two lines a few minutes later. So what we are doing. We have just pushed value 2 and 3 onto stack and in our add function I am going to extract those values from stack with these, these two instructions. Okay, You might have seen in stack videos previously that uh, I have posted that you can call or you can extract a value from stack if you have saved the stack pointer onto ebp register. Okay, you save the memory address of your uh, stack pointer, then with the reference of your EBP register, you can give some offset kind of thing like 8 bytes of offset from your uh, ESP, which was previously when we just saved the stack, and 12 bytes offset from that value, the saved stack value. And the first thing, first value that is, sorry, the 3. 3 is saved later, so it is lower in the stack, positioned lower in the stack. So 3 will be extracted first and it will be saved to EX register. And eight, uh, 2 will be extracted later and it will be saved to EBX register. The next I am simply going to add the values in these two both registers and these values get saved to EBX register. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to return to where to the place from where this function was called. It was called from here, and it will return to the next instruction over here. So it goes to jump exit, simply goes to exit, and further, just for some example, I'm just pushing and popping some values onto stack and from stack so that it makes some more sense and afterwards just simple exit routine ok so let's just have a brief look first we just push 2 then we push 3 to stack then we push 3692 or ebp register inside our ebp register then we call add function if you don't use jump exit over here then what's going to happen? The add will be followed, then return will be followed, return will take the execution to this place in absence of exit. It will come to this place, again it will follow the return, again it will go back, then again the same routine is going to, fo uh, to be followed continuously and your either you will have a segmentation fault or you will be just have an infinite loop. Okay, so this jump to exit is must. 
if you are defining your function after using it okay so what we are doing after calling the function what basically we are doing is uh, let me get some slides okay so this is your stack okay at this portion of stack you have some uh, some value in your uh, memory we are we are not considered about this value then first we push let me make it somewhat okay now we are good so with this instruction okay with push to to stack we are going to push to and get it placed over here just below some uh, memories in stack we are going to place it over here then after pushing 3 3 gets placed over here because stack grows downwards so the latest values will be stored in these sections then oh some uh, amendments edits i just get back after making those okay here we have our uh, ebp register also okay so basically then after that oh uh, sorry after that we are pushing the value 369 to our ebp register so our ebp register gets filled with 369 value okay after that we are going to call add function so what add is doing add is just basically pushing your ebp value okay so as before when the call is when the call is made to some function then the program actually jumps from one section of a code to another section okay so basically program should be able to know that from at which place it has to come back from this section you might be remembering the c and c++ programs then where uh, local variables are used in different sections of program and program jumps from one place to another place to follow function over there so basically the program should know that in the start and the main program at which place it should return after finishing this call so immediately when it sees a call function then program saves the return address of this place this this instruction might be having some address so the processor saves the address of this instruction onto stack first of all then it goes and uh, follows the call so after following the call first we are giving an instruction of saving the ebp register because actually we have just simulated it that ebp is having some value in big programs many things will be stored after one by one so first of all we should not lose the value which is already stored in ebp so we save ebp onto stack then we move the stack pointer to ebp so as as we keep on filling the stack stack pointer keeps on moving okay so it happens in this way first stack pointer is over here when we got nothing saved in our stack then after pushing two stack pointer comes over here after pushing three over here then as soon as call is made the stack pointer goes after the return address where it is saved and as soon as we save our ebp register stack pointer comes over here okay so we are saving our stack pointer position to ebp so basically this value is saved on to our ebp register over here somewhere so after saving all these values we will start using our these values which we have stored previously on the on to stack so first of all we call the nearest value so what will be the address of this place from this reference because this is saved in our ebp register we are calling everything from ebp making a reference of old this this stack pointer we are making a reference which is stored in our ebp register so we give an offset of 8 bytes 4 bytes 4 bytes 
and 4 plus 4 8 bytes so this is at an offset of 4 bytes so we call the first value with this instruction and save it in ex register so now ex register is holding 2 sorry 3 okay 3 is stored onto ex register then we give an offset of 12 bytes and 12 bytes offset is this one over here where value 2 is stored so now value 2 is saved onto our ebx register correct now we get take these two values and we add them these both two values are added with this instruction add l these two values okay now the re uh, result will be stored in ebx register okay so after that what we do after we are finished with adding then we move our EBA, EB, ebp register saved value back to our esp stack pointer correct so as we return whatever is saved onto our ebp register over here the value of memory address of stack pointer this one it is returned back to because stack might might be might have moved if we further push some values over here over here some results are stored on to stack then stack pointer will be pointing here then afterwards here so basically stack pointer gets lost in these processes so this value should be in order to get back to the program back the stack pointer should be able to recover to the previous value in which it was having in the main program okay so we just where we were this one we send the value memory value from ebp register back to our stack pointer so we reset our stack pointer to this place okay so after resetting we give a return so the program returns back to exit so then after that it is just a reference program sorry uh, some uh, example example instructions that will make somewhat more clear so let's run the program i have intentionally made a mistake in this program and uh, let's see if you can find it out okay so maybe this video may take two parts so let's assemble it okay let's link it okay let's run the program now look you got a segmentation fault if you see the program it looks all fine seems like there's no mistake in this program we are saving the ebp value then we are saving the stack pointer to ebp and then we are returning then we are recovering the stack pointer from ebp then we are returning to program so what is the where is the mistake i tell you because when you recover the stack pointer from just let me check the time also okay we are remaining with 2 minutes so let's finish the theory part so when you recover the stack pointer for from your ebp register the basically the stack pointer gets stored restored to this place but stack pointer should be able to find out the return address the return address is not this one return address is this this value okay so in order to take our stack pointer back to this place this one we will have to remove first this value this memory address we should clear okay if we clear this memory address out so stack pointer will be stored over to this place okay after that our stack can read the return address and it will be able to reference back to the main program over here jump to exit and this one because jump exit will be having some value okay so i guess it has been explained now so let's move to next video for uh, gdb part and and execution